Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm going to go through what I've done so far in this Christmas album. Um, the tutorial was uh, Kathy Orta, M for Memories. Um, and you can find that on her website at paperphenomenon.com. And I did a lot, I added a lot of my own elements to what she had done in there. And the book became extremely thick. And that's not even with tags in there yet. So what I did is I didn't want to, like I said in the previous video, I didn't want to cover up any of the pretty paper, so I made places inside of the nice paper with just plain paper to add photos. So here we go. This is the first element. It's an envelope. You can put pictures in there, memorabilia, whatever you want. Journaling tags. There will be lots of tags to this book, and I will do another update when I'm done with all of those. And then this opens, this goes down like that. So you can put a photo here if you want to. Um, this is, you can put photo, journaling, whatever you want there. And then this opens up. This was my piece. This was not in the uh, tutorial. This piece was in the tutorial. Um, and I just, I've got several paper stacks that I used. I talked about in the other video, I think. If not, leave a message and then I'll add um, what paper stacks I used but most of them they were Kane Company and die cuts with the view um, so I went ahead and used this paper here it says have yourself a cozy little Christmas I really like this paper um, and that's not extra paper from that that's actually how the paper is and then I made a place here for a big five by seven photo a family photo there um, and then there's a place, some of there's going to be, like I said, this book's going to have lots of tags in here. Um, and then, yeah, it's big. This is a really, really large book. Um, and then this is another pocket. And then this, all of these that are plain like this, um, in the tutorial, they're made to be like a scrapbook page. So that's what I'm going to use it for. So all I did is cover the one sheet of paper, and I'll put a title and then I'll use it as a scrapbook page. All right. Oh, and then, and these are file folders. So this is the tag I did a tutorial with. Well, it's, it's, it's a large tag. There's a magnet there. And then, as you can see, I put some pattern paper down, and then I added four places. They're four by six photos. And there's a magnet closure, and there's the back of it. And then it just slides right into this pocket here. And we will turn the page. Like I said, these got really big and bulky. There wasn't, there's a 3 8 inch gusset on this. And I, that wasn't even really enough because I added so much stuff. I probably over added. But, oh well, I'll know better for next time. Um, this is an envelope, another envelope style um, for photos. It has a magnet also, and then I just had it open and lay down here, and you can, and I, there's a pocket in each spot, so you can use the pocket, and you can put photos here, journal, journaling, whatever you want there, and then there's also a big space here for whatever you want to add in there, and then we're going to move on to the next page. Um, this one, I made this, this piece is mine. Um, it opens like this, and then there's a pocket here, and then it closes, and I'm going to be rounding a lot of these corners too, so, um, yeah, this still isn't done. <laughs> there's still a lot of, all the pages are covered now. I just have to do the, the front and back covers and the inside covers, and then finish the tags. So, maybe by next Christmas, but I will keep doing updates on it. So, like I said, it opens this way, closes, opens. And then opens like a trifold this way. And then there's there's a uh, a pocket in the middle right there. And then there's places for photos here and photos here. Now on some of the other ones, I put a pocket, like more pockets in. And then on the back here, um, this is just, it. it's not a, oops, wasn't a frame there. Um, this is not a pocket, it's just decorative. Um, and then this piece right here um, is from the tutorial and you can you can have a there's a pocket here it opens this way 
pocket here. Then another um, just plain page. You can do scrapbooking or whatever you want there. And then there's this. There, I had to move this so you can actually see it. And then there's this one with another tag. And this will be a scrapbook page again. There's lots of inking in here. And here's another large tag that you can add your photos in. And then I just did it plain on the inside because I figure the, pho the photos will be the decoration on the inside. And then there's the back and another magnet closure. And then there's that. And then we're putting this in here. And then we're going to open it. And then over here, we did see that I guess it just was not big enough. Um, there's a big pocket here, and this is a um, waterfall feature. So all that way you can put, I think it's like one, two, three, four. Yeah, seven. You can do seven photos there. So there's this one, and I just did it every other with using the same paper, or almost the same paper, but it all coordinates. And then you can put your photos up here. And then we'll move on to the next one. And this is where the gusset situation came in. There's this one. This is, again, the piece that I made. If you want to know how to do this, leave a comment. And then I can show you how to do this, um, this add-on piece. This did not come with a tutorial. So, um, and here's this one. There's a pocket in the middle. And then it says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas past Christmas but that's all right and then we got a pocket here on this one a pocket here and a pocket here and it opens this way and then there's a pocket there and then you got this whole side I use this really um, nice glittery paper that one's from a Kane and Company stack one of their Christmas older Christmas stacks and then there's the back side of it, which I'll probably just leave like that because I think it looks nice. And then we got this is with the tutorial. There's this piece. And then this one. Now I didn't I didn't go strictly with the tutorial because a lot of the tutorial it had like thin tag like pieces. And I I wanted something a little bigger because this is going to be I want it to be really functional for photos. And I don't normally have pictures this big. It was more like um, a book of like a bunch of flip tags and scrapbook pages. You can look at it. She has a video on YouTube um, and she shows the actual, um, a lot of the photo album on there. So you can see how hers is different. Um, and then I use this calendar paper. And then this is the middle right here. It says celebrate the season. And then this piece over here. And then it says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Celebrate the season. And then um, here is, I went ahead and did a little decorative. Had a little decorative piece there. Um, I just finished another of the, um, of the large tags. I just got to put the photo mats down. I'll show you that. All right, let me push this out of the way. This desk is a mess. Um, let me see if I can get this back here so you can actually see. There you go. All right, and then I did this paper. This one is, you can't, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a lot of foiling. Um, this is just a really nice paper. This one was Kane Company also. Um, I found that Kane Company actually had the best Christmas stacks that I could find, so... I did another another magnet closure on that and then the back is just green a green paper oh printed paper and then both of these sides will be red and then I'm gonna put green photo mats in there so and then I'll round all the corners like I did with the other ones all right all right so let's get back to this yeah, this was a handful, to say the least. 
All right, and then this is another um, another paper that I used. It's got tons of big snowflake glitter piece, and then this is a trim that I had in my stash that I used, which is K and Company also, but it went nice with it. And then this piece here, um, they inserted it a little different, I think, than what I did on the tutorial, but... Um, yeah, it's an actual, um, it's like a stationary type. I, I don't know what, I can't remember what it's called, but it, that this was from the tutorial. And then you just open it up. And then it opens like that. Then it opens all the way down. And then open again and again. So you got pocket for tags here, tags here, and then a big tag here. And then also another tag here. So you got lots. This this book really has lots and lots of room for photos. A ton of places for photos. So, and then um, I just, let me put this back. Okay. So, and then I made it pocket here. I don't know if they had, if they did this like a pocket in hers or not. I don't remember. Um, and then this page, this one folds down. I hope you can see this. This book is just so big. This book is, I think this one is 11 by 10. So it's really, really large. And then I made another envelope here. Where you can stick stuff in and this has again a magnet closure and then this is just going to be a plain page I'll do like a scrapbook page and then this part I came up with um, I watched a video I'm trying to think what her name was here on YouTube um, she did a Halloween one that's like this um, I'll, I'll find her and then I'll add it in the description. All right. And then I just tied this. And then this has a cute snowman. And then there's a pocket. He, this is a really functional. It has a pocket here and a pocket here. Pocket here. Pocket here. 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 So there's tons of and tons of room for tags and journaling and photos in there. Oh, my string doesn't like me. I'll have to fix that afterwards. Maybe I don't like it either. All right, so here's another one of those envelopes that came. Eh, they tell you how to build it in the tutorial. Um, so yeah. Um, here's another pocket. I just got to line these. I thought I did that. I guess not. Um, and then there's another pocket there. And then closes up again. Um, I think I'm going to do, a, a, I might do a magnet this time. I'm not sure for this one. And then I thought this paper was so cute. This stocking paper. Um, this is all raised like the, um, the line is all raised and then here's that other piece that I created for the other pages see now this gusset I didn't have a problem with but that's a whole nother story about this page um, this is the dear Santa I figure we can write some notes about our family in there and then here's a pocket and then here's a pocket and there's a pocket and another pocket and then I put a Santa here, right there. And then there's lots of glittering there. And then this, again, came with the tutorial. Um, this is the trim I found, again, in my stash. And then this is the light bulb paper. And then I added a trim here. And then this is all, um, this is Dot Gets with a View. They had that stitched Christmas paper. And I got it for like $2 on clearance somewhere last year. So, yeah. And then this opens up. And you got a pocket here. And, oops, can't see that, can you? 
And then another pocket there. I'm trying to stay in frame. This book is just so, so large. And I'll have to make sure that sticks down there. And then you got a big pocket here. So that is what we have so far on this book. This is the second video. I was going to do a video on um, layering out, like adding all the papers and stuff, but I didn't. The only reason I didn't was because there was so much and so many, and I was working a lot of days in December. Um, I work in a hospital, so my day, I mean, it's been really busy, so I just didn't want people waiting for a video that I couldn't produce in a timely manner so you guys could watch it back to back. Um, so I will be doing updates as I continue with this monstrosity of a book. Um, yeah, so I hope you all enjoy this. And um, I think I am going to actually, when I do the the cover, the inside of the cover, I'll go ahead and do a video when I do the front and back cover. And you can give me your suggestions on what you think. Um, if you want to see something, just let me know. Leave it in the comments below or you can send me a, a PM for that. I hope you all have a great day and thanks for watching.